Hey sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year! I am so excited to be back at it in 2022. So I'm back in the studio, back in my craft room crafting this week so I am going to have brand new content coming the first of next week. You don't want to miss that. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed but today I wanted to share with you the exciting haul that I have. So I have been finding tons and tons and tons. This is a massive Dollar Tree haul that you don't want to miss. I have tons of items so I want to go quick and share with you everything that I found and I have been finding some of the popular Valentine stuff that I'm seeing out on people's channels or on Instagram everywhere but I also found a few gems that I've not seen anywhere yet. So super excited. Make sure you stay tuned and let's go ahead and jump into what I found. So I hope you all had the best New Year's. We had so much fun. I took off several weeks in December um, because I haven't been posting, but it was much needed. I got all the Christmas stuff packed away. We had the best New Year's and then, um, I don't know, I've just been out shopping and trying to see what I could find at the Dollar Trees. So I ran in the Dollar Tree and the, it, the shelves were bare, completely empty. I was so sad because I was seeing some of the accounts that I follow, like getting all the fun Valentine stuff and it was bare. And then my mom actually went to the same store a couple days later and they had tons of stuff. So she texted me some pictures and I ran out to that store and got everything that I could find that I thought that I could use this year, but so, so much fun stuff. So let's go ahead and get started and try to get through it because this is a massive Dollar Tree haul. I always struggle with these hauls because I don't know what to show you first. I don't know. Everybody's interested in different things. Some people want to see the craft supplies. Some people want to see the everyday new decor they're coming out with. But I'll just share with you some of my favorites first. So these had kind of like we're in a Valentine box, but um, they were separated from the Valentine's decor, so I'm not sure where they go. But they are these three adorable little signs that say, Watch me whip, Baker's gonna bake, and they see me rolling and these are adorable they actually have little cutouts on the rolling pin that exposes the wood and the little muffin or cupcake has a metal little bottom and then the whisk actually is metal so i'm hoping because i mean these are kind of corny they're cute cute <laughs> if, you, if that's your style but i wanted to bring them into farmhouse diy boho farmhouse my style so I thought it would be fun to make these over. Definitely going to try that in an upcoming video, but I'm going to try to scrape off those little 3D pieces and make these over into some gorgeous decor. So if you watch my haul, that's my mindset. I am going to be making over everything that I can. So I buy the prettiest stuff for myself to leave as is, but then I buy an extra one so that I can make it over. So I get tons of comments saying, why don't you leave stuff the same? I do, but this is a DIY channel. We try to be creative here. So. Let me show you some more stuff. Next up, one of my favorite things were these four wooden frames. So they don't really have glass in them, so they're not really frames, but there was four different styles. They had this gorgeous gray um, kind of border around them frame. And then they, some of them were warped, so be careful, like folded up and bent because they are paper. But these have so much potential and gorgeous as is. They have several different sayings on them. There's gray ones, but I love all the barn wood on the back and the home sweet home. And you're just able to clip in a little picture and these are perfect as is. So I think you could stick a lock and a key on anything decorative and it has my heart. I love little locks and keys. They're my favorite. I made several DIYs in the past that had those on there and I found these little glass containers. They're kind of like vases, kind of just little, I don't know, jug containers, but they have little metal charms on them, which is gorgeous. They have locks and keys, these like old timey looking skeleton keys. I love this so much. They have the little ribbon. All of my bows have kind of... Um, the ones that I purchased have all fell out so I can retie whatever I want on there but I grabbed a couple of extra of these just so I could take the little charm off of there but they come in black and white and such a fun little surprise I was not expecting to find these. I found these glass stands. I thought these would be perfect to decorate for Valentine's Day. Also could glue these on the bottom of a plate and make like a little Valentine stand but I think the little heart shape makes these unique and really cute to use. 
I found some really fun hooks. So these are like metal hooks. So I found this, it says antique gold finish and they have the detail at the top. These are really big for a dollar. So excited to find these. And then I also found just some basic like coat hanger looking hooks. This is perfect for DIYing. It even comes with a little screws on the back. I feel like these are the perfect like antiqued color and just so many DIY options. So I picked up several of these to put these to good use. I thought these were gorgeous. They're little wooden frames that say follow your heart. I didn't see any other designs other than this one in my store, but I did pick up a few of them. They open up in the back so that you can replace that photo, but this is actually glued down really tight. I thought it would be fun if you might could like unglue that and use it somehow, put like a different paper in the background, but these are going to be so much fun to DIY and make over. But once again, cute as is, all you'd have to do is put a photo in there and that is some really adorable wall art. I found some really cute little like toothpick sticks for decorative purposes. So these say wooden sticks, they are a 20 piece and they have red, pink, and gold and they have the cutest little wooden hearts at the end. So I thought it would be fun not only to take these off and DIY with them, but also really fun if you did want to put together like a little gathering, you could stick this down in some appetizers or food or anything like that. These are adorable and something that I know my kids are gonna enjoy using. Okay, so on different accounts, I saw that people were getting this in galvanized too, but I am completely satisfied just getting this in the red and the pink. It is adorable. I love these so much. I even picked up a couple of extra because I thought these would be so adorable for even Christmas if you wanted to put like um, letters to Santa and like tuck a little piece of paper in there. But I got a few of these in red and pink and I want to leave some as is but also make some over. So I thought these were adorable and I love how Dollar Tree is putting out so much more metal decor. So I thought these were a unique find. They they have a little like more like a teacup coffee mug um, that's blue that lights up and then they have one that is red that says cocoa. No, these kind of look Christmassy to me. I didn't see these out at Christmas time um, but so I'm not sure if these are everyday decor if they're supposed to go with Valentine's. I'm not sure. Let me know if you have been seeing these if these are new if these are old news but I thought they were fun and they could easily be made over to dress up a little bit more pink or red to fit into Valentine's Day. This one is really cute and would be really fun to go on like a Valentine cocoa bar. I was so excited to get these books I know they are everywhere people are already DIYing with them youtubers on Instagram but so I, I am excited about them but I didn't just share them first off because I know they're not old news they're brand new a lot of people isn't even finding them yet but I was so excited to find them and I think they are the most adorable thing that Dollar Tree has ever put out I did get three sets as is but then two extra so that I can just fix them up and paint them a little bit different. Maybe add some new bows on there, but these are adorable. I think my favorite one is definitely the pink one, the different shades of the pink with the Be Mine Forever and Lots of Love. These are adorable, but like I say, I am seeing these everywhere and so many people is already DIYing with these. Speaking of which, I had even put one back here um, on my background. I didn't really know how to go. I was, I, I know I was gonna start Valentine DIY soon, so I went ahead and put out a few Valentine things and they're not even really Valentine things. Um, I just put, picked out some pink things and a little camera, but I wasn't sure like how to decorate the background. I was just trying to get Christmas out of here, but it was too plain to not do Valentine yet. So I don't know. I'm going to have to really think this spot out and dress it up a little bit more. With the everyday home decor, they had this adorable, adorable house, but this was the last one left. So I just grabbed it. It has a cute little heart cut out of the top. It says home and then it looks like it holds a picture. I don't see how it holds the picture. I don't see any hardware or anything on there, but this is adorable. It has a little hook to hang on the wall. I wanted some more of these, so I'll have to go back and check my store again. So Dollar Tree had out some Christmas clearance for 50 cents. Um, I know everyone is talking about the $1.25. My stores are all $1 still, all of them. Like I was worried about it, but they're all still $1. Even the ones that I travel to, the ones that I thought were the biggest stores, they're still a dollar. So apparently I don't have any popular stores because I think they were just turning the biggest stores into $1.25. I'm not really sure how that was working. I'm sure it will come spring or whenever they're supposed to do all of them, but I'm still happy. But these were 50 cents. And I found these on the clearance of Christmas items. And then I, I thought that would be fun to make them over for, for Valentine's Day. But then I actually found Valentine jars at a different store later on. 
so I ended up just grabbing those as well and I'll still get to DIY with some of these but it was really cute getting to pick one up that was already dressed up for Valentine's. I think these are the most adorable Valentine signs that Dollar Tree has ever put out. Um, these are really cute. They look like little like wood envelopes but then they have this little heart paper to stick in there. I'm sure you could replace that with whatever you wanted. But these are adorable. They're like actual little pockets to stick little notes in there. But these are adorable and I am so excited to find these. Finding some metal pieces. I found a plain little truck. Just one. I thought that would be really cute to dress up for Valentine's. I found some little metal flowers. These are perfect to grab and get a head start on collecting some spring items. But I thought these were really, really cute. I don't love painting all of this metal stuff because I worry about it scratching off. But this is perfect to adhere to like signs. You can use your Cricut vinyl on there. That works really good. Or even like the Dollar Tree cheaper vinyl that also adheres really well to the metal. You guys know I love creating signs and big signs gluing together the Dollar Tree boards to make bigger pieces. I thought this would work perfect. It's a huge love sign out of metal. It does have the holes but I can fill them in and paint over it if I want to or hang this from a little piece of jute twine but I love picking up the bigger like metal words like this. And then I know you all have probably seen the wall art going around. Everyone has it but I found tons of big hearts that I might repurpose but then I found this adorable little rainbow and I'm going to put this in my daughter's room. She loves in everything rainbows and girly so I thought this was super cute just for a little kid's room or play area and then speaking of the wood signs to DIY I found several things so I love like the laser cut wood pieces I found a kiss me as well as a happy Valentine's Day and then they had these really cute little succulent signs that say different things on there but just really really cute little cut out like cactuses and succulents I thought it was really cool. I've never seen Dollar Tree put out a Valentine's Cocoa Bomb, so I knew they were new last year for Christmas, but this looks like it is a little heart-shaped chocolate. That is perfect for a DIY gift. Just stick a mug in there. You can even DIY a mug. Just for a couple of dollars for a gift to a coworker or a friend, that is adorable, so I'll definitely be putting those to good use. Some scratch-off stickers. So these are adorable. They had these in the bigger size as well as a smaller size but these will be so fun to make DIY gifts the kids can craft with these for their friends at school or grandparents but so so cute I know like coupons DIY coupons are a big thing at Valentine's Day to give like your mom um so for little kids so you could um make them like free hug and then put that little sticker over there and then they can scratch it off but these will be so much fun to DIY with I love when Dollar Tree puts out big signs so this says you are perfect in every way. I got a couple of them. You can DIY these. These are big pieces to work with or craft with, but also you can just decorate with these. You can also flip them around, make them reversible. You could put something for spring on the back with your Cricut or just hand paint it. Use stickers, Dollar Tree stickers, whatever you would like, and it would be reversible. I'm all about reversible signs. The less you have to store, the better. But these are a very, like, good fun item to pick up because so many things you can do with them. So you can't tell, I'm trying to go super fast to share with you all of these fun things so that you can make your list of what you want to pick up. I always grab signs like this that have the wooden frame because I DIY. I cannot express that enough. That is my mindset when doing this video. But they had a fourth one. I think I have it. I just don't have it right here. But they have these signs that say different things. I'm hoping that I can peel off some of the Valentine words whenever I want to make them for different things. But I also found them in a different set, so a little bit different. And these are like a lighter wood frame, which goes perfect for like the boho look. And they say hearts and hugs, date night, and XOXO, but adorable signs that can be made over. And then here is some more little signs. They had tons of shadow boxes, as well as ones that look like they're just kind of like shadow boxes, but they have like artwork in the back. Really cute. These were just clear with the hearts dangling everywhere. I picked up some of these glittery picks. I thought these would be perfect for gifts. If you send balloons or anything like that, you could clip this to a weight, put it in a gift basket, 
or um, if you do like Valentine trees, if you would have got like one of the white Christmas trees from Dollar Tree, you could really make like a cute Valentine tree. These would be really cute to clip in between the branches. So many things you can do with that. So I did pick up a few of these in some different styles and colors. I love to DIY with scarves. I've made like snowman and stuff for winter, but sometimes it's fun to just kind of put this around like a floral arrangement or something. So I loved how this was like the pink and white gingham, really cute. I also found the little trucks everyone has been talking about. Super, super cute. They had a couple of different styles. It says loads of love and hugs and kisses. Just really fun. These will be perfect for tray fillers or like a little shelf, but really, really cute. I also found these signs. I put one back here in my backgrounds that pink and red, but these would be really cute once again if I picked up a couple of extra. If you wanted to, you could flip these around. You can use the heart and paint it however you'd like, or the heart just looks glued on there. I think you could get that off and then paint your own little words on there to create a whole new sign. I picked up a couple of cake toppers. I always love baking and I thought you could put this down in the top. Just really easy to dress it up for the kids or a little family Valentine's party. But I also thought these are really pretty like font already written out. If I was creating a sign, you could cut the little stick off and just glue this on top of something. I love these little painted rock kits that Dollar Tree puts out for every season now. And these are heart rocks. So super cute. We love going to the park. Lots of people hide rocks and try to find them. So I thought this would be fun. My girls can paint these up and we can go hide them for someone else. And they're just a really, really cute shape. And they say you rock on there. I also found this adorable little tiny succulent in a little Valentine's thing. Once again, this would be perfect for a tiered tray, a small shelf, something mini. I have some mini tiered trays, so this would be really cute. Dollar Tree definitely is not going to let the gnomes go, so they are putting out some gnome pieces. These are holding little hearts that say love. Really, really cute, but also really glittery. Um, but if you do like the gnomes, you don't have to put them away for Christmas because these red gnomes um, kind of coordinate with your other red gnomes. But these look definitely for Valentine's Day with the hearts all over the hat. So I know that Dollar Tree kind of has like cutting machine tools um, for really cheap, which is exciting. But I've never been able to find like the little pick. Um, that you can weed vinyl out. I love how Dollar Tree not only come out with their own vinyl, but has like some tools and accessories that you can get. So this is something that I could not find last year. So I don't even know if they offered it last year. I found like the little spatula and a couple different things like the scraper, but I didn't find the pick. So that is something fun. Whether you have a, a cutting tool or not, these are perfect um, just for little details or like scratching off paint, making perfect lines, starting a little hole for a screw. So many things you can do with this. And then I'll just pin over and share with you the excess stuff. I'm not going to go through everything, but I got tons of ribbons and wooden pieces. There's other items that are not specific for Valentine's Day, but you could definitely incorporate that, especially if your Dollar Tree is not getting all the new Valentine's Day stuff. In the Crafter Square, they have lots of pieces with just hearts and cutouts, but there's tons of stickers and pom-pom ribbon. I love so many things that I was seeing and I love it how they're making it so easy to craft and I don't know just make anything you want. So many options. My Dollar Tree had tons of stuff. There were some items that I was sad that I couldn't find like the wooden beads and stuff that other people were sharing but that's okay. I have plenty. This will definitely keep me busy if I can craft with half of this stuff. So I am so excited through the roof that I get to start Valentine's crafting. So exciting. So I hope you all will join me once again. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Let me know what you are working on. If you're ready for Valentine's crafting or if you're going to hold off a little bit. I personally am excited for spring. I just think after Christmas is done, I love enjoying Christmas, but after it's done, I want all of the florals and colors and fun, fresh spring filling DIYs. It's so much fun. So thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you're finding that I need to keep an eye out for at Dollar Tree because I know they are constantly bringing in new things and they definitely will since it is the beginning of the year. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye.